heading down to the Port Talbot, I'm feeling uh, confident today. Um, objective over the last uh, year was to try and get myself in my best shape today. Um, just a little, little heads up, when I'm waiting at the May show, this is secret. <laughs> um, I weighed 14 stone, 12 pounds and a half for the May show. Uh, today, um, total dry weight was 14 stone eight. Um, I feel like I'm the most shredded I've ever been, and I'm really hoping that it's gonna show up on stage today. Um, one of the things I've done differently for this show is I've, I've kind of talked myself out of eating. Usually two days before the show, you've got these crazy thoughts about uh, eating Nutella straight from the tin, or um, you know, to carb load and bulk up and do all of those things. Uh, I wrote myself a little letter, and every time I do it, I always ignore it. And two days before the show, I start binging on, on rubbish. But this time, I've just said no. You know, I can have a cheap cheat meal after the show. You know, the objective is is to put the best package out there, and I've done it. And I feel the driest and the tightest I've ever had. Um, just a little heads up on the show today: 800 tickets have been sold. There's over 130 competitors in today's show, so it's absolutely massive, a huge, huge event. Um, we're fifth up, so we should be on stage about two, three o'clock. So uh, really excited now, and uh, we'll get there and uh, pump up and uh, see what we got to do, yeah? What are you looking to have for your cheap meal, Rich? Oh my gosh. Um, it's funny, again, um, I haven't eaten chocolate for about eight weeks. Now, for me, that's just not normal. You know, people should eat chocolate, especially as a treat on the weekend. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't done it this time is that I've been working long shifts. Um, so my yogurt and fruit and uh, carb intake has been a lot higher than what it should have been to do a show like this. So what I've done to kind of balance it out, instead of having the, the, the normal cheat day, I've kind of been really good on the weekends as well because I've been uh, running. Um, so today's cheat meal is going to be uh, particularly special. So um, I've got two team members with me today who uh, think they can eat me up of a competition. They've got no chance. So the, what I'm going to show, we're going to have a mixed grill from the harvester on the way home. I'm going to show these boys how to eat five salad bowls and ten Cokes. And then I'm going to go home. i got a few galaxy bars of chocolate waiting for me, a box of caramel shortbread. I'm going to have a quick little sleep. I'm going to get changed and I'm going back up for food then in the night. That's what I'm going to do. Here's the Princess Royal Theatre, 800 seats theatre. It's amazing in its place. The other the risk we've taken as well is we're having a spray tan down the bottom of the day. So um, I've seen James the well in the pro have his tan then and he looked at a million dollars. So we're taking a huge risk. <laughs> it's a Tesco over there, guys, by the way, right? And uh, the amount of times we've gone in there to buy a CD <laughs> before the show is ridiculous. One thing you notice when you come to shows like this on a one to ten. Uh, one being normal, ten being freaky. Before I came down, I'd give myself an eight or a nine. I just see the guy with a tattoo on his face. Oh my God, I'm a number two. All right, we just arrived, Mr. Wales 2014. This is where the real mind game start. Uh, you start looking around, you start seeing the tanned up faces, the big tracksuits on. You know, these guys uh, uh, worked all year for this and uh, it becomes a, a game of chess. You don't want to take your top off to the last second, you're eyeing up your competitors. Are they the same height as you, the same width? Are they in your class? If they're in your class, they're your enemy, you don't want to speak to them. If they're not in your class, oh, best of luck to you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, so uh, let's go inside and uh, see what's going on. All right, uh, just giving you guys an update on what's happened so far. We've been inside, there was a huge check-in today. 131 competitors have turned up. Um, in my class alone, there's over 20. Um, the sport has just seemed to be growing and growing, which is fantastic news. It just goes to show um, the emphasis on health and fitness. Um, Wade, um, 
92.8 kilos, which was 14 stone eight, I believe. So four pound under my weight limit. So I just had some chicken and noodles, uh, about six rice cakes and a few drinks of water. Um, and I'm about one pound under now. So really, really chuffed with that. Just shows the conditioning went well. Um, I've had a spray tan. We've had two, we've had two coats on. Um, the plan of attack now, we've got about two and a half hours before showtime. Just gonna get the dumbbells from the car. Uh, we're going to go upstairs, pump up, drink some wine, eat some raisins. Uh, when the, um, the chocolate and the alcohol and the salt hits the skin, I should really, really tighten up. And hopefully you guys are going to see the best uh, package I've ever put together. I'm really excited about it. All right, so watch this space. Grabbing the dumbbells. Let's rock and roll. Waiting for the call out. It doesn't happen. It's over. It's time to go home. What do I need to do? I'm trying to hide my emotion. I'm devastated. Just staring into space. I haven't been called out. I need to work harder. No excuses. You need to work harder. I've done myself proud. That's the best package I've ever put on stage. But in all honesty, it wasn't enough. I look a supreme athlete on stage, but I don't look a supreme bodybuilder. Body parts were lacking today, and it's time to get real. If my journey continues as a bodybuilder, it starts tomorrow. And tomorrow we're gonna lift heavier. We've got four weeks to improve. Four weeks to get tighter. Four weeks to get bigger. Four weeks to refocus. Four weeks of no excuses. I'm going to be my best. Four weeks to go head to head with these guys again on a bigger stage at the British Finals. Let's get it done.